long, long time ago. Hi, this is Mary. My pronouns are she, her, and I am here to give you the tools to learn or write any song in the world on the ukulele. If you can learn to read chord charts, then you can learn any chord that you would need to play any song. Today, you're gonna go into your camp kit and you're gonna find two books. One of the books says ukulele chord book. The other one says song book. We're gonna get our chord book out. The first chord we're gonna look at is the A chord. It's the first one in the book. So when you're reading a chord chart, it's like your ukulele is standing up like this. So these lines right here, boop, 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 those are the strings. These are the frets. So imagine that your ukulele is standing like this. Those little dots tell you where to put your fingers. Now, we only have a few colored hearts on our ukuleles if you're borrowing one of ours. You're not gonna really need them for now because you're gonna be able to read chord charts so you don't need these stickers anymore. Please keep them on there, they're helpful, but you can kind of ignore them. For the A chord, we're looking right here and we see that on this first string right here, we need to look and see, oh, this dot is on the second fret. I see that because this is the first fret, this is the second fret, this is the third, this is the fourth. Right here, this dot is telling me that I need to put a finger, it doesn't tell you what finger, it just says you need to put a finger, on the second fret on the first string. I know it's the first string because it's this one right here. I'm going to get my ukulele out and I'm going to say, okay, so it's this string right here on the second fret. Okay, oh, it's kind of like the A minor. Okay, you need to put one finger there. Then, I look at it again. There's two dots on here, so that means two fingers. I have this one done. This is on the first fret on the second string. I know that because it's on that second line right here. It's on this first row of boxes. That means that I put my finger on this first row of boxes, the frets, and on the second string. And then I have to put the first one on the second fret on the first string because that's what we did earlier. That's how you play an A. We have most of the chords here in this book. Oh, look at this one. This is how you play an A7. This is only one dot, so that means I only have to use one finger. I'm gonna give you a second and see if you can figure out how to play this all by yourself. If you put your finger right here on the first fret on the second string, then you're playing an A7. Because this is the second string on the ukulele, the second from the top. And this box is the first fret. Got this. If this is really hard for you, just watch this a few times. You will figure it out. You can go through this book and find tons of different chords. Some of them are a lot trickier than others. For example, the B minor chord. When there's a line like this, this little line, it means it's a bar chord. So you're gonna push down all those strings with one finger. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It says that I push down all three of those strings on the second fret, and then I take one finger over here on the fourth fret on the top string. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna take one finger and push it on all three of those, and then I'm gonna put one up here. has an M next to it, that means minor. So this is B minor. The M stands for minor. Some of them like F7 would be definitely a challenge chord to learn. That looks a little bit challenging, but I know you could do it. As long as you know where to put your fingers and you just keep working on those finger muscles, you got this. Now, you can learn any song that you want by going on the internet and finding the chords. We have a few in here. For example, Someone to Lava. This is a song that's in that Pixar short at the beginning of Inside Out. It has the chord right at the top. A long, long time ago, there's a C. So you know you play all the way until you see the G7. There was a volcano, and you play all the way until you see that F. Living alone in the, and then you go to C, middle of the, and then G7, C. I'm gonna show you that. 
long, long time ago, there was a volcano living all alone in the middle of the sea. I knew when to change my chords because of this piece of paper. It told me, play the C all the way until you get to that G7. Play the G7 all the way until you get to the F. You can look up any song really online. Good place is ultimateguitartabs.com. You might have to ask a parent if you can go on there. We have Moana in here, How Far I'll Go. We have a few songs and we included a couple more in your camp kit. Now you have the tools to play any song in the world or write any song in the world. Maybe you're writing a song you don't know a chord that's in your head you're you're hearing something but you don't know how to play it go through this chord book and see if you can find it in there have fun practice it's okay it's hard to play the ukulele but you got this you are learning a new skill and you should be proud of that goodbye